Okay guys, so the next coding interview pattern that people normally see is something called subsets. So what are subsets? So for this, it's basically just generating all the possible subsets. So every single possible permutation or combination or subset with whatever it is. Okay, so you're going to recursively generate all the subsets. Now there's two ways to do this. One is to do it iteratively using some bit masking, but the other way normally is to go over it with recursion. So how do you do that? Well, first let's actually explain what a subset is. So let's say I have given the numbers one, two, and three, right? Subset, what they mean is like all the possible individual sets you could have in this array. So in math, it's called a power set, but let's just list all the different possible ways. So how, what are the different possible ways we could have uh, the numbers one, two, three. So to have numbers one, two, three, we could have, we could have, uh, just the number one, right? That's one set, right? You have number two, right? And the other one, we could have the number three, right? But there's more to it. There's more to than that. Right. We could also have one, two, right. And we could also have two, three, right. And we could also have one, two, three, right. And then we could also have, um, one, three, right. Cause that's another side we could have. We got to pick the number one and pick the number three, right. But we also could have the empty set right? Cause you could pick nothing, you pick nothing. So out of all these sets, right? The generating subsets for all the possible subsets you could have for a set in this array is literally just how, how many different uh, ways can you choose, pick a number and put it into a set. So remember the definition of a set means that it's like an, a grouping, but the do, there's no duplicates. Okay. So it's like a grouping, but there's no duplicates. So you might think that you could have the set, uh, three, two, but three, two is the same thing as two, three. Okay. These are the exact same thing. Three, two is the same thing as two, three. The ordering doesn't matter per se. It, it really doesn't matter. So it's the exact same thing. There's also no duplicates. So we cannot have two, two. Yeah. So these we cannot have, this is the exact same thing as that. So yeah, so, uh, just ordering all the subsets you could see right here. We have one, two, three, the empty one, two, two, three, one, two, three, and one, three. Okay. So how many, uh, numbers do we have? How many number of sets we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight total sets. Okay. But, oh wait, how many numbers do we have? Well, we have one, we have two, and we have three. So we have three numbers, but there's eight. So uh, it turns out that the total number of subsets that we have is um, two to the power of three, which gets you eight. So if we have n numbers, so let's say I have, uh, let's say our array has like n numbers. If we have n numbers, it would just be two to the power of n. So that's the number of subsets, right? Two to the power of n is number of subsets. So that's just the gist of how subsets work, what they are, and exactly what we're trying to do, right? So as a programmer, this is the math of it, right? We're trying to generate every single possible subset in this array and see if it turns out right. So we need to, we know that we need uh, two to the power of N. So if we have an array of size N, we need two to the power of N values in our sub total subset. Okay. So how do we do this in with a uh, recursion in programming? Well, we do something called backtracking plus recursion. So it's not this difficult at all. It generally has the exact same formula of most problems. So if you know this simple formula, you could apply it to most of the problems and we could go over as many problems as we want, as we want. Cause it's literally the same thing. So I'm going to go show you guys the pseudo code of how this works. And then let's just explain it. All right, guys. So how do we generate all subsets? How do we generate all subsets to our value or function? Okay. So we need a function. Okay. So remember we have this giant array, right? And, uh, we have our I individual array of one, two, and three are our values that we need to generate. And we need to put, we need to generate all the different subsets that gets put in this giant array. Okay. 
Well, how do you do that? Well, first of all, we need to generate them for every single size. So each size. Okay. So what is a size when each size is equal to zero? So, um, when each size is equal to zero, well, what is a subset with a size zero? It's just itself, right? And when each size is equal to one, what are the subarrays that have size equal to one? Well, we have individual one, two, and three, right? Each of these individual subsets, right, have a size equal to one, right? Because that's what we have. And then uh, what about the size of each size equal to two, right? Well, what are the different subarrays we have? The size values equal to two. We have one, two, two, three, and then uh, one, three, right? And then we have an each size of size equal to three, right? And that's our final one, two, and three. So every time we uh, generate our subarray or each subarray, right? We need to generate them for each of the sizes. And each of the sizes will be zero, one, two, and three. Okay, right? Are you guys coming, understanding what I'm doing? Like each of these sizes that we're generating it will have a size zero, one, two, and three. So for that, we need to have a function that generates all the subsets for each of these individual sizes, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Right? Each of these sizes, we need to have a giant function, right? And we need to um, call this function for each of these individual sizes, okay? Well, so for that, we are going to have um, a variable called each size, okay? And each size is going to loop from size 0 to the size of n. And n will be the size of our current array. So this current array, right? This current array has a size equal of, of n, right? So in this case, n is equal to 3, right? We have three elements here, right? We have three elements in here, right? Three elements in this array. So we need to um, generate all the sizes, right? So each size is going to loop from 0 to n. So um, what does that look like in the code? So basically, we have our main function, right? And then we're going to uh, loop through from each size. It's going to equal to 0, and we're going to go up to n, right? Each size is going to loop from 0 to n, and we're going to call, we're going to generate all subsets for each size, right? That's what we're going to do. You, you guys understand what I'm saying? We're going with this, right? Like we got to generate all the subs of size zero, one, two, three, right? So on and so forth, right? N is, N is like the total, the current number of elements in our current array, right? So we have one, two, and three, and N is equal to three right here. You, you guys understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So th that's what we're going to do. And in our function gen, all subs, we have to take in this value each size. Right. Okay. So, um, what else do we need? Well, um, well, we need to loop through our array. We need to loop through our array. So we need our current index that we're at, right? Like if I'm looping through one, two, and three, right? I need my current index, so, right, where I'm at, right? Remember, I have to pick numbers from our array, right? I got to pick numbers from each of these array, right? So I could pick number one, I could pick the number two, I could pick number three, right? So we need an index to see which number we're picking from, right? All right, so that's what we need. Um, we need our current array, right? We need our current array. Our current array is just like one, two, and three. This is like the array that we're doing it. And um, we need our subset, each subset, right? Remember, we're generating all the values in each individual subset, like each of these, like 0, 1, uh, one and then 2. So we need like this array. We need this, th th this subset that we're adding values to it and then adding it to our all subsets, right? And then we pick another value, add it to it, and then when we're done generating, we add it to our all subsets, right? That's what we need. So we need a current subset. Okay. And, um, yeah. So, and then we need a, we need a variable for like the whole array, like the whole, the giant array, the giant array that has all the subsets, right? Remember we need, we have this giant array and it has all the subsets like this, 
One, two, three, so on and so forth, right? We need a giant array that has everything. They're all subsets, okay? So, um, what is our base case? Well, um, if our current sub subarray, right, or our current subset has a size that is already equal to each size that we're generating, right? So, if our current subset has a size that's already equal to each size we're generating it, we're going to add it. So, we're going to add to all subsets, right? Add it. Add it to all subsets, right? Like when we when we're done generating for a size zero, or then we add it to all our subsets, right? When we're done regenerating a size one, we add it to all the subsets. When we're done generating with size two, we add it to all subsets, right? That that's basically the gist of it, right? And then well, we're gonna return. So we're gonna exit return. Okay, so that's this part of the pseudocode, okay? Um the main method, I'm gonna just like slowly highlight it. Okay, so add all subsets. Um, otherwise, what are we going to do? Well, we need to loop through each of the individual values that we're generating. So we're going to loop through from um, each individual value. So let's say I'm at the current value of one, right? A current value of one. Well, I need to add it to my, um, my array, my array. I need to add it to my array. So uh, I pick the number one, I need to add it to my array, right? And then I need to pick the number two, and I add it to my array. Then pick number three, add it to my array, right? But then also, I need to pick the value two, add it to my array. And then I could pick the value three, add it to my array, right? And, and I could pick number one, add, add it to my array, and the number three, add, add it to my array. So there's a lot of combinations we got to do, right? So um, what are we going to do? We're going to loop from, let's just call it J. We're going to loop from our current index to the end, right, of our current array. And we're just going to add it to our current subset. So current subset. Add the, the value, the current value of J to our current subset, right? So we got to add this. So we add the current... Our, our, our current value that we're currently at, add it to our subset. And yeah, it makes sense, right? But then we also have to recursively go to the next element, okay? Because when we're already at the number one and we loop through one, two, and three, right? Next time we can start at two, right? And then loop through two to three. And next time we can start at three and loop from three to three to the end, right? So what do we need to do? Um, we need to call gen all subsets. And this time we're going to start from, we're going to do the same thing, each size and everything. But we need to start from index plus one now. Okay? Because that's the next value of our array, right? The, the next value of our array. That's the next value that we have for our array, right? We generate all subsets. We add, add the next value, right? That, this time we're starting from two instead. So first time we started from one. And we loop to the end, add all those values that have uh, the current size is equal to one or zero, or one, two, whatever. Then we, this time we need to start at two, right? Start at two and go to the end of the array, add those values that have the size of two, so on and so forth. Then we have to start on the value three and then add and so on and so forth, right? So that's why we got to go to the next value. And that's why index plus one. Um, but now after we generated, added that current value, we also have to, there's a case where we have to remove it. So we need to remove it remove current value at j from array and why do we have to do that because there are certain cases where let's say i pick the number two but there's an array that doesn't have the number two right like remember we had like um let's say we had a one one Remember, we have our total array has one, two, three, right? Like our current array has one, two, three, right? Well, if I pick the number one and two, right? There's also an array that doesn't have the number one, right? And that just has the number two. So in that case, we have to remove the last element from our array every time we're generating. Because there's a certain situation where we have it inside, and then we generate all the rest of the numbers. But then there's a certain situation where we don't have it. 
So we generate, so we remove it from all the numbers. Okay. So yeah. And I believe that's the rest of the pseudocode actually. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, uh, understand what I'm going at. But basically the gist of it is that we have, we need to generate all these different sizes of it, right? So we're going to have a function that passes in each of the size and it's going to go from zero to N. We need a current variable called a current subset and we're going to expand it. Like we're going to keep adding values to this subset and we're going to remove values from the subset. Okay. So we're going to keep adding current values from a subset and we're going to remove values from the subset. Right. Why, why we're looping from the beginning to the end. Okay. And, uh, if we reach our current size, like if we reach our current size of, of, uh, length one, two, three, all the different sizes that we need to generate. Um, we're going to add our current subset to all subsets. Okay. We're going to add our current subset. So add current subset to all subsets. And then we're going to return. We're done. Then we got to generate the next size, next one, like next size, so on and so forth. So yeah, that's the, all the gist of the pseudocode, right? So let's actually just type this out again. Let's actually type this out. So yeah, this is basically the pseudocode. Okay. And I didn't, I didn't include the variables in the, in the, in the function because like, yeah, I don't know, but you have to declare those variables yourself. But yeah, if our current subset has size, our size that we generate is equal to each size, right? That we're generating. We're going to add it to our current subset to all subsets and we return now. Um, otherwise we're going to loop from J we're going to loop from our J from our current index that we're at to the end of the length of the array. Um, we're going to add our current value at, at J, right? Our current, uh, any, our, each of the value at J to our current subset. We're going to generate all, uh, all subsets from index plus one now from the next value of our index. And then we're going to remove our current value of J from our current subset. Okay. So that's the gist of this whole code, right? And then in our main function, we're going to call like, remember, we're going to call all subsets where we pass in each size is going to loop from zero to N. Okay. So yeah, that's the gist of the code. That's a bit gist of the pseudocode, how it works. And I'll show you guys the actual code. All right. So in our main method, right. Of subsets, we have our current variable value of uh, nums, which is our array. N is going to equal to the num uh, the size of our current array, right? And we're going to generate all the subsets subsets for each size. So each size is going to start from zero, and we're going to go a uh, loop up to n, n, including n, each time. And we're going to call our function generating all subsets. Okay. And then we need to create a new array because that's the that's basically the current subset that we're having. Okay. So now in this function backtrack, which I call the backtrack here, but you could call it whatever you want. Remember in our pseudocode, it was like I'll generate all subsets, but you could call it whatever function you, you want. Okay. If our current size is equal to each size that we're generating, um, all subsets, which is this global variable that I declared up here, that is a 2d array of all subsets. We're going to add it. So we're going to push back the current subset that we we have. So I call it cur here. Cur is the current subset that we have, right? Then we're going to add it to it and then we return. Okay. Otherwise we're going to loop through J is going to equal to the index, our current index for each value that we're at. And we're going to loop up to, um, size N size N right. And do J plus plus. And what we're going to do is each time we're going to add the current value of uh, nums of our current value that we're on to our current subset of current, right? We push back, which is adds it to the end of it of our current subset. And then we're going to call, we're going to call backtrack, right? But this time we're going to pass in J plus one, which is the next value, the next generating the next value of our current subsets. And I use the same, uh, same variables in here and then I need to remove it. So I call pop back. So removes the value that we just added at the end. And then we're done. And that's basically the gist of generating all subsets. And you could use this exact same pseudocode for almost all, all every other problem you can use it. Okay. Generally all the other problems have this sort of pseudocode, right? We have a current, current, uh, subset. We need to 
generate, right, for all the different combinations, all the size of each combination. And if it's equal to the size that we generated, we're going to add it to all the combinations, right? And if it's we added it, we're going to return, we're done. Otherwise, we've got to loop through it and e add each individual value to it in, in the in individual subsets. And then we go to the next one, go to the next value, and then remove it from our current subset and so on and so forth. But yeah, that's, that's the gist of it. That's the gist of this code. Um, I hope you guys understand this video. It took, a, it, this was like kind of hard to explain, but this is a cool concept for you guys to understand. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.